Some more really incredible playing. I hope you enjoyed that because I most certainly did. Okay, our next performer who's going to play Red Blooms is Little Lily Duffy. <laughs> Erin has gone home poorly, which is upsetting for her, which means we're going to move straight on to a piece called It's Winter, because it is, by Rosie. Contrast in music, I'm sure you'll agree, between the loud and the quiet playing. And the piece you're going to hear next by Floyd's sister Bo is full of contrasting sounds and colours and textures.
So as ever, within the last six months since everyone was gathered together, I've had a few people sit and pass exams, a couple of distinctions at grade one, and a very healthy pass at grade five. One of those grade one's distinctions belongs to Emily Cook. play a piece of Beethoven. Now this was written by Beethoven, probably on his deathbed. <coughs> Beethoven was completely deaf from the age of 48 onwards, but wrote loads of music in that later period of his life. And these would have been short pieces, bagatelles, that were written because he just still had musical ideas in his head that he had to get down on paper. And Henry's going to play one of them for us today. said and he's managed to get one music scholarship at Brighton College and he's now going for a second. His audition piece is this incredible little piece of bark that he's going to play for us. The joy of bark, as I think I may have said previously, is there's no articulation markings, no dynamic indications and no indications of tempo. So interpretation is more or less everything. We've decided that this is going to be quite a majestic prelude that Alfie's going to play for us now.
And that's our last act, apart from me. Um, I'm going to play a piece of Schubert, but just before I get on with that, just a couple of other things. I just want to say thanks very much to everyone who took part and came along to the Brighton Philharmonic Orchestra concert trip that we did in October. I had a thoroughly good time and I get the impression from feedback that I've had that everyone else did too, which was brilliant. Um, just to also let you know, Dave, who's been filming today, the movie, the film will be up on YouTube hopefully later this week. So if you do want to have a look at how you all got on, then that's the place to go. Um, as ever, finally, the collection tin on the door. I'm always very grateful for any help you can give me towards the higher fee of the venue. Which is fab, thank you very much. So Schubert, he was the king of songwriting. He also believed in uh, illustrating nature within his music. So you hear water features at the risk of something like Charlie Dimmock. You hear water features in a lot of the music that he's written. Um, this impromptu that I'm going to write, that we're going to play, was written in the last year of his life. Um, and the last year he was alive, Beethoven had just passed away and Schubert was Beethoven's biggest fan. It's full of different colours and contrasting textures and I hope you're really going to enjoy it. Huh? 